I think we have to look at what situation this country would be in if we hadn't acted. People were facing fuel bills, energy bills of up to £6,000. We had very high inflation expectations and an economic slowdown. And what we've done is we've taken decisive action. First of all, to make sure that nobody is paying more than a typical fuel bill of £2,500. That will come in this Saturday but also to reduce our tax burden, to make sure we grow the economy and also curb inflation. And that's so important. It's a difficult time. You know, we're facing a global economic crisis brought about by Putin's war in Ukraine. And what was right is that Britain took decisive action to help people get through what is going to be a difficult winter. Well, the biggest measure in the mini budget was the support we have given to people on their energy bills. And it was absolutely right that we gave that support. Because without that support, people would be facing high fuel bills this winter. I was worried about people struggling to heat their homes. But also, we, but also, also we would have seen businesses like pubs go out of business. So the, it was the right decision to take. And we need to continue to make sure we deliver the economic growth, we deliver the jobs and opportunities, and that is the long-term future that we have set out. It's absolutely right that we always need to get value for taxpayers' money. You know, every pound that we take from somebody is a pound they could be spending on their you know, future, on their, you know, what they need to support themselves. So it's right that we get value for money, and I'm always making sure that we deliver that. Where from? Well, there are always ways that we can organise things more efficiently, but what I want to make sure is taxpayer money is focused on frontline services, on getting our GP appointments, uh, making sure people can get to see a doctor, making sure we deliver on our road projects, all of those things that people rely on us for. But there are plenty of areas where the government can become more efficient. Can you give me an example? Well, not at, not at the moment. We're continually reviewing to make sure we're getting good value for money, and I think that's what taxpayers expect.